All right, welcome to my test channel. Should look at the lens in the mirror, not in real life, because yeah, it doesn't make sense otherwise. Uh, and why am I looking at me? There you go. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to go through my Smule setup. It's kind of going to do it as a test review. So instead of being long and boring this video, I'm going to try to get to the point a bit more. Um, that said, I already did take one of this. Forgot to turn on the mic on my um, a lav mic, which I've hidden because uh, that's getting very long, isn't it? Uh, anyway, let's let's just do the review. Smule, how to do Smule? Well, this is how I do Smule. Um, I better grab the uh, tripod here. It's the lovely Peak Design one, which I paid for, and this is not sponsored, but um, it's pretty good uh, tripod. Just don't get anything with Peak Design that has Velcro on it. Break your stuff. Um, but if it doesn't have Velcro, then um, it's usually pretty good. Why do I hear music? I thought I left my s phone playing. Okay, so um, I've got, s we'll start from the phone. I've got a secondary phone for Smule because uh, it's kind of annoying to take it off and I already got, um, already got this phone. Also, it has the uh, very rare these days to find headphone jack. So it um, makes it easy. You need one less dongle. Um, so this is a magic arm. Hopefully you can see that. It allows you to lock it in place any position you want. So very useful. This is a short one. I've got that on my phone with a mo mobile phone bracket holder. This one is by Vlogger, but um, it's just what the store had uh, that looked like it was pretty solid. It's made of metal, uh, grips it. You know, there's plenty of other brands. I'm sure they're pretty good. Uh, a nice metal one is always nice. Um, so that is the phone. Um, let me take this off. I've got it on actually a light stand. Now you see this light stand uh, actually goes you can actually extend it like any any light stand. Um, it is the Photo Pro Trident. Uh, get a focus there. Can you see? Can't, probably can't read it. Um, hmm. Well, I thought this video would be short, but it's probably going to be pretty long. There you go. Oh, I still can't read it. There you go. Now if it will focus. Now this is tricky not having a camera operator. But anyway, gear up for our adventure. Light stand TR01C. The Photo Pro Trident TR01C. Um, anyway, quite a good light stand actually. Uh, I use it for flash photography, for lightweight stuff. Um, any light stand will do. This one is particularly nice because it's carbon fiber like real carbon fiber, so it's not that fake stuff. Um, but yeah, a light stand is good um, for this reason. Uh, you, uh, well this one, okay. I'm all over the place today, but this one is particularly good because it has four quarter inch, these are quarter inch threads. Um, it's just, it's the one you see all the time on cameras and stuff. The photography gear is kind of standardized. I don't think you can see, but that's as much as I can zoom in on this camera. Uh, or this lens, sorry. Uh, quarter inch thread, quarter inch thread, quarter inch thread, quarter inch thread, four of them. This actually has an adapter you can put like a quarter inch male thread, uh, or you can put a three eighth, or you can put a spigot. So it's got another attachment, which I put in the drawer, but um, it's quite versatile, quite nice, because it lets you be Let's you rig up anything. Um, so I really like this light stand. So it's even got this um, spirit bubble here, which lets you see if it's uh, level, um, which can be important, especially if you're doing panoramic stuff or uh, going to put a camera on it, perhaps a 360 camera. It's quite good. Um, and it has a wild foot. So this foot, if you put it on an uneven surface, you can actually extend or shorten it. Um, the white means that it's the natural level position, but this actually goes like 
that long, so you can put it on a staircase and still shoot. A lot of uh, flash stands uh, don't have this wild foot feature. I'm trying to put it back, but it's a bit sticky now. Um, can't see what I'm doing, but I don't know. Oh, I, I didn't loosen it, that's why. Silly me. Um, but yeah, it's very versatile and not too expensive either. Really like it. I should buy a bunch of them. The only thing I would say, and this ended up being a flash stand um, review, but well, I'm going to roll with it. Um, the only thing I could say, which is a minor gripe, um, is it doesn't fold flat like my man Froto's. So it folds and it's a little bit rounded, um, which takes up a bit more space. But I've got some man Froto's uh, here, which is kind of hard to access that fold flat and you can stack them and they clip together and they're really good. They're called stacker stands. They're great. Um, but yeah, if you're only going to bring one uh, to a shoot, which I often do, just have one main light, uh, a strobe, then uh, this is a great little, great little uh, product. Um, so, got the uh, magic arm, which you can like lock in any position. And then I've also got a longer magic arm. These are by Small Rig, by the way. You see that Small Rig. Another company that I quite like their stuff. And in terms of photography equipment, Small Rig stuff's quite affordable. I just I hate it when you buy photography gear, like pro gear, and I'm like it's marked up like a lot. I guess less people buy it, and then the, therefore their margin profit margin is lower. But um, it just seems that anything pro photography these days they're gonna jack the price up but uh, small rig um, quite reasonable pricing I really like them uh, so anyway on the quarter inch thread we're using two of them only but that's more than other uh, light stands that only have one if it only has one then you're gonna have to find another solution maybe a clamp or you can get like a plate or anyway there's a lot of ways you can solve that problem but this has the the thread, tripod thread, which, which I think is, is great. I won't focus that close. Um, so connected to that is the, I smell some delicious food. Uh, I'm not cooking, it must be my neighbors. Just making sure I didn't leave the stove on. Um, Rode NTG video mic. Oh no, which I've left on overnight. So um, I'm gonna have to charge that. Hold the button to turn it off. Huh? Yeah. Which I, again, have left off. So it's like red means it's quite flat. So I'm going to have to charge that. Uh, you can charge it while you're using it. Um, but if you get a bit of distortion, charge it from a different AC adapter to your phone. Because um, some weird thing where it thinks it's getting powered from the same device. And it gives a bit of a artifact noise you can it's pretty obvious when you hear it anyway road ntg video mic it's great because it's got you can use it as a mic for your computer if you plug it in via usb it's got usb charging and it's also got the whoops 3.5 millimeter jack plug um, which is this one i'll plug it in now so that's the standard this is the standard trs TRS meaning that there's three parts. These also come in like two parts, being a, a TS maybe, um, and a TRRS, which has four parts, and those uh, that includes the mic. But because I'm using a different mic to my uh, normal headphones, um, I'm going to plug it in this way. So that goes just in the side there. Um, so that's how I've got it attached. Uh, let me put this on a tripod so I can free up both hands. All right, I have two hands free now. So I like to put the mic kind of, you gotta find these like end bits, see that? Otherwise it, get, it gets locked. So you gotta find that. I like to do this. Um, like that. There you go. Oops, I'll turn down. Uh, okay. So that's... I like to have it tilted down a little bit, my phone, when I smule. 
Then, I usually position the mic lower. Um, let me see if I can. Okay, let me get, adjust all this a bit better. Um, I like to adjust the, uh, I like to have the mic pointing lower, sort of like this angle. Um, the reason being that I'm quite silly on Smule, but um, let's see if that works. If I had it here and I was singing, sometimes I come up to the uh, camera um, and sing real close to it so I can get a nice picture of my mouth just for comedic results. Um, but if I have the mic here, then it's, I'm like talking directly to the mic and it's going to be way too loud. So some, so usually I like to have the mic positioned a little bit lower. So when I do come up here, it is, it still has this distance away. And when I'm singing, I'm like this distance. It's not like right up to the mic, it gives you that extra space. Um, so that's why I've done that. Uh, this is an extension cable. It's two 3.5 mil jack plugs. Hope that focuses. I can't see the screen. Um, and then this will go into the frame, but this part's really important. So I've got a bit of a 3M Velcro here. So uh, it's their special rub, uh, plastic Velcro, which is great. It's very solid. Um, probably get it at a hardware store. Um, and I've stuck a bit on the back of the phone. But what this is, is I've covered it with a Velcro, but um, it's a TRRS, see the four, see the four uh, parts on the plug. Um, the, f the fourth part being the microphone. So uh, let me put that so you can see my face. Uh, the microphone, so what this does is it allows you to split the microphone, have it separate. So this part is the microphone. So I'll put it into the microphone part uh, which I covered the I covered the thing with Velcro, so I don't know which one it is. Anyway, if it's the wrong one, you just swap them. Um, and by the way, I had to use this thin one because the design of this, they're too close together. The road plugs are really fat and I can't fit both of them in, so it's kind of annoying. That's why I've got this other cable. Um, that goes in there, and then my headphones uh, go into the other one. So I've I can use the uh, external mic. Um, a lot of people just use this, which is fine. Um, it, it can get a bit distorted and it's not the clearest because it's usually dangling here. You want the sound to be captured from where you're projecting here. It's just a little bit better quality and if you're singing loud, these can peak. Um, also, speaking of that, I better take the screen out so I can make sure I'm still recording. And yes, I am. Got the red box and the REC letters so um, I usually like prefer not to see that because I always end up looking at myself instead of the lens but maybe I should pop it out and then just make a habit of looking at the lens anyway so that's quite thin you're gonna have a problem with this particular one by Remax I don't know if you can see it can you see it maybe now you can see it uh, if it folk eh. Remax Remax come on come on Focus. Remax. There you go. Um, yeah. Problem is they're too close together. But anyway, it's just a microphone and headphone splitter, and um, they're quite cheap. Get whatever that you can get, like whatever your computer store sells. Usually computer stores for these. So that goes here. I've got an extension. Um, yeah, it's, in fact, I got the TRRS extension, but I think a regular mono extension would work just because uh, it's a little short and I want to have a bit more room. So I got the extension that goes into here. That goes into the phone. Um, and yeah, if you don't have a stereo, uh, if you don't have the headphone jack, then uh, you may have to get a dongle. Um, you know, check what, check what you need. If you're on, on iPhone, you need the lightning one. If you're an Android, you probably can get a USB-C one. So um, yeah, check what you need. Um, and that's pretty much it for the f for the uh, phone setup. Um, I've also, if I can be bothered, I've got these NAND lights. 
lights for your grandma, your nan. Um, these are really cool. I use them for filming. But uh, since I got them, might as well use them for smule. Getting some noise through that. Um, so yeah, you can do the uh, you dim it. You can change your white balance, colder light, warmer light. Um, you can have it cycle through colors, which is nice and cool. Or you can pick the color you want and the saturation and the, uh, the dim or the brightness. So yeah, uh, it's probably more obvious if I face it to me. That's very red. It's quite bright actually. Um, so yeah, I usually I just stick these on my couch because the light stands take up a bit of floor space because like each light stand is like, you know, that big. That's quite a bit of space. I, I usually, I usually like leave them up, set up in my lounge room and my place in Hong Kong is tiny. It doesn't look tiny because I'm on a super wide angle lens, but yeah, Hong Kong, everything's quite compact and space is a premium. So I've got these, I get good result if I just put them here because they can, uh, they can, the light can come up from below and hit my face. Sometimes I wedge it in my Ikea couch like that. Um, or I just put it like that as well. It's good to have it come around the front. Or I can put it around the back so it just lights the background. Um, and then the other thing I do is I have this light, which has become my like normal um, living room light. But uh, I like it because it can dim. My fluorescents don't dim. But uh, I've got this light, which is a... I mean, I don't think many people will have this because it's quite specialized. But I have it, so I'm going to use it. Godox. Godox FV200 uh, LED, super powerful. I've got the uh, standard reflector on it and I'm just bouncing it in here so I get a bit of light hitting my face from the front. So I hit it against the wall. Um, uh, before I used to put like the reflectors on it, the soft box, the umbrella, whatever, but it just takes up too much room in my, my house. Um, so I just have that and then it's, this is super bright. It's only on 15% right now. It's, bright enough to light up my whole room. Um, I don't actually suggest you get one just for smule, but uh, you could use a table lamp or whatever, soften it, hit it against the wall, or put it directly on you. Um, just have a look at the, how it looks. Um, if you put it direct, it's going to look a bit harsh, because the light's going to cast hard shadows. But if you bounce it off a wall like I have there, uh, by the way, you might recognize these posters from when I turned my living room into an injection ward, COVID injection ward in my Juice video, which you should check out after this, my Juice channel, um, which sadly no one really knows about or watches. Um, kind of blame YouTube for that because they're not really showing my stuff. I guess it thinks people don't like it, uh, which may or may not be true. It might be true because it's a bit weird. But anyway, I digress. Uh, bounce it against the wall, make it nice and soft. And then, um, yeah, smule away. Uh, while I'm at it, I'll give you a quick rundown on my smule. And uh, if you don't know what smule is, it is the IG, the Instagram of karaoke. Um, I've actually got a song loaded that I couldn't sing. Um, I guess I was going to sing it and then went and did something else. But um, let's see, if we sing the full song. By the way, you don't have to do video. I like to do video. Uh, oh, it's SP7. Oh, welcome to my channel. Um, she's one of the people I sing with. Uh, it will, and obviously you'll have these plugged in. Whoops. You have these plugged in so you can hear the music, the instrumental track. And then you just sing the blue lines or the yellow lines. Now the blue lines are lines that are, lines that you, uh, only you sing. But if, why isn't the lyrics coming up? Oh, I think it's a bit of a bug because I had this loaded and then I didn't actually sing for ages. Uh, but there should be lyrics there and blue lines mean that you sing it. Yellow lines mean you both sing it. Gray lines means it's the person you're singing with sings it. Um, now you need, that's, uh, anyone can join a song that, that someone else has sung, but if you want to start up your own songs, uh, you need a premium account, which is, if you like singing, it's not too much, but you know, it all adds up. It's like a Netflix account and a Spotify account and a 
Apple Cloud account and a Google Drive account and a Dropbox account and you know, just keep paying for services. Um, didn't even mention your electrical bill and then your your water bill and your internet bill and what else? I gotta I gotta pay for uh, Sony. I don't. What am I saying? Sony's trying to get me to pay for their Catalyst uh, software for the video editing support, um, which I kind of find annoying because just bought their camera, which costs thousands. Um, Adobe, Adobe account. I've got the uh, photographer one, the uh, Lightroom, and the Photoshop. So. Um, all these fees, but yeah, it's, it is free, but you can't set up your own song. You, you have to join other people, which is also fun. Um, you get a lot out of it. So the people I follow, I can go, oh, I like this. That little icon with the video means that they are, it's a video join. Some people just do audio, uh, but I quite like video. Um, obviously I've got this blog and I'm trying to be more comfortable in front of camera, but not everyone likes that. In fact, it's like a nightmare to be in front of a camera for some people. Uh, even lost a friend because I took a photo of them once eating toast. V very sad. Um, actually, we're, we're okay now, I guess. I'm not sure how bitter she is, but anyway, that's a different story. Uh, anyway, you can click join and then it will load the video. It will tell you the, um, it will tell you the lyrics. You can confirm that's a song you want to sing. And then you want to, you can sing just a moment. Like you can just sing the outro or the chorus. Or, you know, sing the whole song, why not? Uh, I'm not going to do it now, but uh, I don't know why you'd want to sing just the pre-chorus or something. But uh, I guess some people don't want to sing the whole thing. Uh, then you click, it's very, um, it's very confusing because, like, then you click cancel and then you can sing it. It's, the UI is not very good. Um, but you know it does the job but it's a really confusing layout um, anyway so you click cancel to, to go ahead and then you uh, click sing full song and then uh, yeah again you get the countdown hopefully it works this time lyrics are up ahead and uh, she's doing part one so she's starting off and then eventually you get some blue lines or yellow lines so they're scrolling now Oh, out of focus. Um, and then, yeah, you can sing. Ah, some blue lines. That means it's my turn to sing this line, like, now. Uh, I actually don't even know this song. But anyway, Smule. Um, I'll quit that. And then my account, I'm actually quite active on this because I'm literally trying to learn how to sing. Uh, quite late, I have to add, like as an adult, I'm trying to learn how to sing um, and never had the opportunity as a child to sing and spend all that time, you know, when you're really good at learning stuff. I think kids are good at learning stuff. Uh, or maybe you just have more time back then, I don't know. Anyway, my profile uh, is Jush like my channel, and then oh, I've got some followers, not many, but actually a lot more than on my actual Juice account, or even this channel account, which has like 200 and something. I've got more followers singing with me than anything. And then you can see your channel and all the songs I've sung, and I've got a whole total of 5,456 recordings, not including all the ones that crash, um, and then it doesn't end up saving, so. A lot of songs I've done. Got some rap here. That one's hard. Fet's Vet. It's a Star Wars fan song, which is awesome, but really hard. Um, in fact, singing that, well, rapping that rap song made me better at rap songs in general because it just, I learned how to move my mouth faster just to sing that song. Um, you know, George Ezra. I got all the old favorites, the boy bands, you know. Savage Garden, the second greatest Australian boy band in terms of popularity and sales. Um, not just in my own opinion, uh, but anyway, second greatest Australian boy band of all time. Um, guess who the first one is? Um, and then, you know, Bruno Mars, Michael Jackson, Backstreet Boys, quite like Taylor Swift, Adele, even though she comes and keeps deleting the songs because of copyright. 
Anyway, I call her um, Add Hell. Like, you're gonna add some hell because um, I'm not happy that she comes and deletes the songs. I mean, they are her songs and they are her intellectual property and copyright, but I kind of have a disagreement with copyright, you know? I think you know, every time you sing a cover or something, you're actually infringing someone's copyright. Um, and uh, I kind of think the law is a little backwards. Like. In fact, someone owns the song Happy Birthday, and if you sing that song at someone's birthday, you're actually um, infringing someone's intellectual property. But then I think these things should be shared. Uh, although, you know, with copyright, they do, things do come out of copyright after like a long time. I think it's like 70 years, which is why classical music, anyone can play it and not get sued by some corporation who bought the rights off someone else. Um, but yeah, anyway, I. I think music and songs, there must be a better way to be able to share them and make everyone happy because like, it's part of the whole point of music, right? To share and to enjoy. Anyway, my little rant. Uh, bit of Eminem. Uh, Taylor Swift. Yeah, like a lot of songs on here, almost every song really. Um, the worst case is the artist will come and delete it and then some, some guy will upload it again. Um, yeah. And you also know sometimes the lyrics are wrong and stuff. And that's because it's been uploaded by a fan or some random on the internet. Um, and then they've typed in the words and, or got it off the internet and just typed it in wrong. But yeah, anyway, that's Smule for you. And um, hopefully, uh, yeah, someone found this very long video interesting. Going on for a whole whopping 26 minutes now. Well, at the last one I went for, I think, 40 minutes, but I forgot to turn on the transmitter, so there was no audio, so I had to redo it. But, um, yeah, I'm a little bit more to the point this time. So, yeah, summarize my Smule setup um, does consist of this contraption here, um, the phone. Um, you don't have to get this, but it's good. Uh, oh, I didn't mention a few things. Let me, let me back up. So, uh, this is actually a shotgun mic. It picks up sound from like the front, like here, and it isolates and rejects noise from everywhere else, which is great. Um, and it can pick up sound that's a little further away. Um, a lot of people use like those handheld mics, which are most commonly cardinoid uh, pickup pattern so it picks up sound just from the front but the problem is you've got to get it really close to your mouth and then there's a thing called plosives where if you say save me the letter P P and put your put your hand there you can feel the air hitting your hand that's what a plosive is and that air hitting the microphone will cause a like a, dist uh, a sound actually I can do it here because I'm using the uh, microphone here with no a hidden mic with no um with no uh, windshield. Um, so I'll just rip off the tape. So a plosive sounds like this. Plosive, plosive, plosive. P -p 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 -p. So all the p and the d and the t, all those sounds, they're called plosives. The p, the t, the d, um, the k, you know, like k. If you swear, like a lot of swear words have plosives because it's got that energy where you like you go oh duck duck you know and it it feels a bit more fulfilling than a soft sound like what's a soft sound um like face oh but the f has the f anyway um i don't really know because i'm not a linguist expert or something but let me look at some words and see if any of these are soft words use use i think use is a softer word um so, uh, yeah, um, people put a pop filter in front. I have one here, but uh, actually, you know what? I've got a bit of energy today. I'll go see if I can find it. And I'll show you the, um, I'll show you the Manfrotto. See, these are stacker stands. These are really big stands, by the way, really sturdy. And there's four of them here, and they clip together. Um, and they can come apart like that. And they kind of, like, have a clip system. They're great. Love these. Um, they don't fit in. They don't. These don't fit in a suitcase. They do make smaller ones. Um, I wouldn't mind buying like four of them because sometimes I do go to shoots and I need to bring stands. But then, 
usually if I go to a shoot and I need to bring stands, then I'm bringing a lot of equipment and lighting, and I will, um, I will uh, have a van anyway, so then I'm not trying to cart a, uh, a big stack of stands on the MTR, which is the, you know, subway. Um, let's do a little test with, I'll show you the difference. Um, really long video now, but uh, well, sometimes long videos with a lot of detail are good. So, uh, I mean the mic's quite small, but it still should have the same effect. So, plosive test one, plosive test one, plosive test one, and then plosive test two, plosive test two. So this has, this has two layers of um, material, very thin material, it's almost like a stocking. Um, and it sh should let sound through, but also stop the like larger, uh, the air, the like big piece of air, the big bursts of air from hitting the uh, the little diaphragm, the, the the sensor, like the thing that moves in the mic, in the microphone. So um, yeah, a lot of people have these, and it covers half the screen, and then you you got to go like that. And I rather just use the shotgun mic, um, but I guess the sound quality is better if you have a proper handheld mic um, because. You're only picking up the sound right in front of the mic, and that you're going to isolate out, uh, reject all the other sounds, um, and they're a little bit more sensitive, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you know, for Smule for the internet, then um, this is a very high quality, used a lot by filmmakers, independent filmmakers, indie indie film makers. Um, it's quite a good mic, somewhat expensive, but. Um, yeah, I got a lot of video gear, so I might as well use it when I'm not out doing jobs and stuff. So yeah, um, that's the end of the video. Uh, I'm going to um, leave some links to Joosh, my main YouTube channel, um, as I end this video around here. So uh, for this video, don't forget to thumbs down. You can do it once or you can do it twice. If you do it twice, it cancels it. That's the joke. Um, and then unsubscribe and then go to my other channel and if you like it, you can consider subscribing because I um, kind of really wanted more people to watch that stuff. I did all these songs on COVID and no one watched them. Well, a thousand did roughly per video, but I thought more would. But anyway, I'm going to keep going, do some other videos, um, not on COVID, but yeah. Anyway, I think it's time to end this video. So uh, here goes.